Hello guys, welcome back and now it's the chapter 1.2. In this part, you will learn about sentence structure with three types of sentences. And after this lesson, you will be able to construct sentences by your own. Let's start. First of all, there are three basic sentences. The first one, statement. Second one, negative. And last one, question. One thing that I want to tell you, in Thai language, there are no conjugation. But there are some words that indicate the type of sentences. Let's start with the first one, statements. It's like in English, so subject, verb, and object, if there is. For example, Kao Gin Pizza. You guys do remember Kao? Kao is he, right? So, Gin is to eat. Pizza is pizza. So, Kao Gin Pizza, subject, verb, object. He eats pizza. The next example, Shan, remember? I for female. Ma, the word ma means to come as a verb. Grung tape, guys, highlight this word here. Grung tape, grung tape is Bangkok. And this is how Thai people call Bangkok in Thai language. Grung tape. So, Chan Ma Grung tape, I come to Bangkok. Subject, verb, object easy a statement the second type of the sentence is negative so in this part you have to learn one word that indicates negative form so it is my okay tone go up and down my my means not so the sentence structure will be subject my verb and then object Basically, the word my before verb. For example, Kao, he or she, my, you see my, so not. Gin, to eat pizza. So the word gin is to eat. My gin is don't eat or doesn't eat. So in this sentence, Kao my gin pizza means he doesn't eat pizza. The next one. Chan mai ma, the word ma means to come. So mai ma means don't come, right? Krung Thep, Bangkok. So chan mai ma Krung Thep means I mai ma don't come to Bangkok. The last sentence structure that you have to learn is question. Like in English, in Thai language, there are also two types of question yes no question and ws question in english there are many ways to construct a question for example the first one like do you eat pizza like this or you can also ask you eat pizza right see it's also a question the thing is, in Thai language, we use this kind of form. So basically here, you construct um, a sentence that you assume, and then you put question word at the end. Remember, question words always at the end of the sentence. Be careful. I know you might have a question what the question word is. Let's go to the question word part. So the next page. So the question words are the words that are put at the end of the sentence to make the sentence a question. There are two types of question word. Yes, no question and WS question. Start with yes, no question. So the first word, my, my, don't get confused with the word my. The word my like this means not. Remember, we just learned it. But this one, my, the sound go up is a question word. And you use the word my for general question. So mostly you will use the word my as a question word. But the thing is, there are other question words that you could use. For example, the word Thai my 
ใช่ไหม It's for interrogative questions. So for interrogation, it needs the confirmation. Okay, when you ex when you like kind of curious about something and you assume something, and you just need a confirmation whether it's true or not. You use the word ใช่ไหม at the end. Next one, หรือเปล่าหรือเปล่าหรือเปล่า is also used for general question. Next one, หรอหรอ is informal question word for surprising feeling. Important. For example, the famous face for foreigner is the phrase จริงหรอจริงหรอจริง The word "ting" here. See the word "ting." "Ting" means real, นะคะ So "ting" หรอ mean is it real or really? See, so it gives you the surprising feeling. That's why they use the word "raw" rather than the word "my." And the last question word that you might have heard is the word "pow." Pow. The sound go down. It's actually a short form of the question word รึเปล่า So from รึเปล่า to pow, just informal. So if we put uh, everything together, so you will get the question like this. For example, เขากินพิซซ่าไหม See question word at the end. เขากินพิซซ่า means he eats pizza. But you put the word my at the end, so it turned to be a question. So does he eat pizza? The next example, คุณมากรุงเทพ which means you come to Bangkok, but then you have the word รึเปล่า at the end. So it's a question word. So that's why this sentence means do you come to Bangkok? Next for the menu as question, easy the same thing. So basically, you know the sentence. Normal sentence that you assume and put the one you ask question word at the end. Let's go to the one you ask question word. The next page. So here the first one, อะไร a ไร means what. For example, the phrase อะไรนะ means what, but you know it just more like natural way to ask what. อะไรนะอะไรนะ what. Next word, ที่ไหน means where. And last one. อย่างไร is how. So now we're gonna put everything together for the U.S. question. For the first example, อะไร here. อะไร means what. So เขากิน he eats what. Basically, what does he eat? The next example, คุณมาจากที่ไหน Look, the word ที่ไหน Remember, the word ที่ไหน is Where? So basically, the word "kun" is you, right? And ma cha ma to come cha is from. So come from where? So basically, where do you come from? Easy, easy. All right. So you learn the three type of the sentences. Let me review. The first one statement: subject, verb, object. Chan kin pizza. I eat pizza. The second one, negative. Don't forget the indicator. My, my means not. So you put it before verb. Basically, subject, my, verb object. So, Chan, my kin, pizza. I don't eat pizza. And last one, number three, question. So basically, you just construct. You know a normal statement and put the question word at the end of the sentence. For example, คุณกินพิซซ่าไหม See, you eat pizza, right? So it's a question. Easy peasy. Congratulations! You already finished the sentence structure part. So now you are able to construct sentences by your own. So just go back, review about vocabulary and the you know sentence structure again, and then just see me in the next video. See you later. Bye bye. Susu, hang in there.